Hi everyone and welcome, welcome to my gaming channel. First off, I want to say a big thank you for all the support I get from you guys. You are saying if the volume is correct, if the video is not right or everything. It's a big, big, big help for me so that I know what you guys expect from me and it is a big help. Okay, so it's not night time here in Poland. So I won't play any horror rift games right now, but I have a very nice VR experience for you to show. I found a nice game which is actually showing what is possible in VR. So let's jump straight into the game and I'll show you everything. Alright guys, so here we are in the main menu of the game. It's a little bit darker I can see again. It's a little glitch which we have in the game. Let me correct that one. Alright, much better. So, moving on. Isn't this a cool way to show you your keyboard layout on a wall? It's it's really cool way. But, for this game, I'm gonna be using the gamepad I have. Alright, so as soon, as soon as you switch to the gamepad, the game adjusts accordingly. So, this is a nice way to introduce, introduce you to <laughs> uh, the developers, ProtonStudio.com, Time Rifters, Proton, Doc Volanik, Developer, Kenzie, Jack Taylor, Producer. So the game was probably uh, greenlit on Steam, um, it's currently uh, at a release stage uh, to come out somewhere, somewhere in October, so actually I think now, we'll see. I wish all the luck to the developers because this game is the best example that virtual reality is really cool. Just simply by moving and walking to the options menu, these two gearboxes you saw, you can activate the options you need. So regarding virtual reality you can change literally everything. So it's very important that on the DK2 you have uh, just about 50, uh, 75 frames per second so that, you, so that you can get this smooth experience. Not the steering one, um, tear, tear screen and a smudge effect on DK1. So currently my DK1 is uh, crying in the closet, but as soon as I found other games which are only exclusive to DK1, I will show you these games because not all of them have been transferred to the DK2. Okay, let's quit the chit chat and start the game <laughs> by walking on the play sign. So play two lives. And this is one cool thing I, want, I wanted to show you. Currently, my head, aim and my gun are bound together. So this is really comfortable to do. And I'm also looking at this cool hat. It's absolutely amazing and all these dots surrounding you. It's really cool. You have to experience this guys being in, uh, in the rift. Um, you can see some of these effects on the screen. They are a little bit distorted, but don't do not... Uh, it, it doesn't, um, it's not that bad, actually you can also see part of my experience, but everything is as if it was in front of my eyes. And one other cool thing I wanted to show you is, as soon as I activate my keyboard, my view is decoupling itself from the cross eye, crosshair, and this means I can, I can aim freely with my mouse. And the other thing I can do is, I can look down and I actually have a VR body and this is really welcome in VR games because if you, ha if you haven't got any body you are feeling very weird and right now I yeah I think I've tidied up the armor just right for the game <laughs> and one other effect you can do is this you can simply look at your arm and the gun you can also examine the gun I don't think the game has a fully positional, positional tracking right now which means when I'm leaning I do not see the gun moving like this so I can only just look like that at the gun at the moment, but I think they will implement all the features in the ready game. So, let's start this game. Now I'm back. I switch back to my gamepad. So these are my lives in the game and uh, the premise of the game as far as I can understand is I am uh, one of these soldiers and when I step into this level and the time will end and I will kill, I don't know, I have some colored, colored uh, cubes which I have to shoot down and as many as I can do this will be counted up 
and then my other buddy, well actually me from the future right now, <laughs> will step in there and help me to gain more points. But anyways, let's try this out. Cool arena. <laughs> yeah, and you can feel the scale. Alright, now this is cool. Huge blocks flying above. I will try to do a nice score because I've, I've tried the game before, but it was still my DQ1. Will I make it? Will I make it? Ah, I don't know if they, if they escaped. Whoa! These are cool to watch underneath. <laughs> oh, so they have a health bar. Nice. All three went in. Okay, I think I have to focus on the red ones more. Oh, this is spitting all the red ones over here. I don't know. <laughs> there are so many of them. 180 remaining. Let's try from the from the side here. No, 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 no! Don't run away. <laughs> okay. So I've I've killed, shot some of the cubes. So 164 remaining. What is? Okay. <laughs> yeah. That's the. That's actually me looking with my crosshair. So this is when I first entered the game to show you everything. <laughs> yeah, I can feel. Yeah. It's really also cool to see this crosshair from the other character. So this game is really nice. I would call this a single player multi-cooperation experience in VR. <laughs> I don't know, maybe I've exaggerated the word, but it's cool. And also the graphics, they are they are really nice. Just the right fit for the VR. And the DK2 resolutions of course allows me to enjoy the game much better than the DK1 of course. So it also would be cool if they would release this game on Samsung um, Gear VR G Gear. It's really cool. So, let's start the game again. Remaining 235. Let's see how it's stack up right now. Oh, it's a shotgun. Uh, it's a shotgun weapon I have right now. So I think there will also be some different models of the of the rifles. Not only this one I have right now. Nice. Die. Die, you big monster. Robo monster, you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Not so close above me. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Just from behind. How cool is that? Come on. I help you. You see, I help myself. <laughs> this is weird. I've helped myself. Hmm. I help. I help my past self. Yeah, and score is going down. And score is going down. Will we make it? Will we make it? Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! 87 remains. 85. That's it. <laughs> 84. And I have a high score. Nice one. So I think at this moment this is the end of the demo. Of the demo version. I'm looking forward to play the full game and the hard... Oh god, this is really nice. I'm waiting for the positional tracking to be enabled in the game. To have a nicer effect to, to look closer on the HUD. So the full game game will it include Let's Play Replay System. Free episode with 5 arenas each. 6 upgradable weapons, high score boards, custom made soundtrack. Really nice. Okay guys, so... Hope you enjoyed this gameplay and stay tuned for more. Have a nice day. Bye.